Hey everybody, you're watching a physio named Jonah. That's this guy. Today we talk exercises, specifically some picky little kind of confusing terms that often come up in the world of rehab and fitness. Closed kinetic chain and open kinetic chain exercises kind of sound like they describe some insane training program that, like an Olympian would do, but trust me, they're a lot more straightforward and simple than they sound. In today's video, I'll be walking you through what these terms are, giving you some examples so you can understand how they're different from each other, and then briefly touching on why they're both important. My goal is that by the end of this video, you are an expert in all things open and closed kinetic chain exercise or you can at least get this question right on your next test. If you are new around here, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell so you're notified when I release new videos, kind of like this one. I'm a Canadian physiotherapist who makes videos on exercise in the rehab world, so if learning about picky little parts of exercise is your game, <laughs> we're gonna have a good time together. Despite their ludicrously verbose or otherwise overcomplicated and overwordy names, the meaning of closed kinetic chain and open kinetic chain exercises are actually pretty simple. Open kinetic chain exercises are exercises where the distal segment is not fixed. Closed kinetic chain exercises are exercises where the distal segment is fixed. Diving in a little bit more to that, open kinetic chain exercises are exercises or movements where the moving segment or body part is able to freely move in space. In other words, it is not coming up against something that it cannot move. Closed kinetic chain exercises, by contrast, are exercises where the distal segment or the end of the moving body part is against something that it cannot move. It is against something that is fixed. In most cases, what this boils down to is open kinetic chain exercises involve moving a body part or free weight through space against gravity, where closed kinetic chain exercises involve pushing against something like a wall or the ground. Once you see it in practice, it becomes a lot easier, I promise. Let's start by comparing open and closed kinetic chain exercises for the upper body. We'll start by looking at a push-up. In a push-up, we are pressing against the ground with our hands to lift up our body while using muscles across the front of our chest. The ground isn't moving, our body is, so this is a closed kinetic chain exercise. Here's the way that I like to think of it. If we were to draw lines from the center of the body through the moving parts of the body, which is in this case the arms, they would end on the ground here. The ground is not moving. So I picture this exercise and the movement being closed off at the end by the contact with the ground, making this a closed kinetic chain exercise. Let's compare that push-up now with a chest press. In a chest press, we are lifting weights upwards against gravity. The same muscles across the front of the chest and shoulder are being used, but in this case our body stays still. It's the weights at the end of our arms that are moving. This makes it an open kinetic chain exercise because the weights are what's moving, not our body. If we drew lines from the center of the body through the arms, this time those lines don't meet something we can't move. We are in fact moving the weights up and down, so our chain of movement is open because we are moving what's at the end of it. Let's now look at the exact same concept in the lower body. We'll start with a lunge. In a lunge, our feet are making contact with the ground, and we push against the ground using our legs to push ourselves up and down. If you're following along, like our last example, you should now be seeing that this is a closed kinetic chain exercise. Looking at the lines again, they're going to once again end up in contact with the ground, which is not moving, meaning that it's closing the chain of movement, and this is a closed kinetic chain exercise. Last exercise, let's use a straight leg raise against a band. In this exercise, I'm lifting up my foot and my leg against the resistance of the band, which is also pushing up against gravity. The band is moving, as is my foot, at the end of the motion, so say it with me, this is an open kinetic chain exercise. Using the line diagram again, the end of the limb is not against anything it can't push. In this case, it's actually in the air, not making contact with anything, so the end of our movement chain is open. So now the question on everyone's mind is, which one is better? Always with the loaded questions, oh my goodness. If we really get down to it, it's not that either form of exercise is better or worse than the other, they just serve different purposes. 
Closed kinetic chain exercises tend to be really good choices for functional training, especially in the lower body. This makes sense because as beings that are bound to this terrestrial body of a earth by gravity, we spend a lot of time with our feet on the ground. This means that if we want to train for function, it makes sense that we're going to want to train with our feet in contact with that ground. Open kinetic chain exercises are really nice for isolating out specific muscles or muscle groups that we want to focus on. Because the end of the motion is against something that isn't fixed and we can move around in space, it gives us a lot of freedom and allows us to be very specific with what we want to accomplish. There are lots of little differentiations and arguments between the two and which is better, but let's not get into that for today. I hope that you now understand a little bit more about what makes an open kinetic chain exercise versus a closed kinetic chain exercise. Summarizing one more time, with open kinetic chain exercises, visualize the end of that moving body part as being open. It's not against anything, it cannot move. Where with closed kinetic chain exercises, the body ends pushing against something that it cannot move, like the ground or a wall. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments section for me below. I'll do my best to get back to you relatively quickly, and I look forward to chatting with you there. But most importantly though guys, as always, move your body, have a laugh today, and I will see you at the next video.